I'm not particularly sure why, but I have also found that being an introvert, especially in the summer months, is challenging. I feel as though it could be experiencing FOMO when my friends are out making plans because it's summer, the time to go out and adventure, but my particularly introverted soul feels at ease and comfort when the autumnal months begin. I feel at peace in the calm and coziness of it all, and it serves as a reminder to embrace being an introvert. Therefore, today I wanted to take you on an adventure of embracing being an introvert. I do have a habit of letting FOMO get the best of me, and I truly don't think people who aren't introverts understand the complexity we face. We are drained from continuous social interactions, but value the people we are around. Therefore, don't want to seem rude or silly for needing a night in or a day out for recovery. As I have learnt more about myself and began to really listen to my mind, body and soul, I have also found the confidence in saying no to plans and ignoring the FOMO that comes along with that. Admittedly, it's difficult at times, and then being able to show up as my best self once having that space, I feel as though that is ultimately what enables me to find balance. Fitting into my little bubble, it feels a little silly to voice, but that's truly where I feel most at peace. Whether that be having some alone time in my safe space, or putting my headphones on when out adventuring in nature, or even being with others but whilst working on our own things. All of these things makes my soul feel calm, my anxiety levels drop, and my inner introvert feel happy. Reading, painting, going on a walk, watching some YouTube, or just sitting with a cup of tea, watching the world go by, are all things I like to delve into when in my bubble. They are things that bring me joy and peace and activities to do without having much to interact with anyone or even think about them much. I understand the bubble state isn't achievable for everyone and we all have different methods of helping our soul heal but when going through everyday life I always try to do a few things throughout my day to allow my introvert to feel at peace. My main action is I take majority of the evenings after working a day for myself I may have a fitness class or two within the week and often my boyfriend comes over to stay but I still have a few hours within the evening that I can have for me and do whatever I'd like to find comfort in and I feel that is key. Finding what you find comfort in and giving yourself a few moments every week to breathe in that space. Ultimately, whether you're an introvert, extrovert or aren't even sure, we all need time out to breathe. So I hope this served as a little reminder for you. Thank you ever so much for joining me on this adventure and I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a wonderful day or night. Until next time friends.